Also known as the Opic Oort Cloud, the Oort Cloud is a hypothetical cloud of small, icy planetesimiles, and is named after the Dutch astronomer Jan Oort. This cloud is thought to surround the solar system out to a distance of more than three light years. You will be shocked to know that by way of comparison, the Kuiper belt that exists beyond the orbit of Neptune is about 1,000 times closer to the Sun than the inner wall of the Oort cloud is to the Sun. Below are 10 more interesting facts about the Oort cloud you may not have known. Number 1. The Oort cloud is actually not a cloud. Does the name suggest that it is a cloud? It definitely does, to all of us. But you will be surprised to know that, it is actually not a cloud, but just a spherical mass that consists of trillions of icy planetesimiles, surrounding the Sun at a distance of 50,000 astronomical units. Number 2. The solar system's boundary is defined by the Oort cloud. Practically, the outer edge of the Oort cloud is the end of the solar system, and also the end of the Sun's hill sphere. This is the point where the Sun's gravity no longer dominates in the face of the gravitational effects of a more massive body, which would be either the Milky Way galaxy, or the gravitational effects of a star passing close to the outer limit of the Sun's hill sphere. Number 3. Oort cloud is the source of long-period comets. Astronomers have used the observed orbits of long-period comets, such as Halley's Comet as the basis for the notion that all long-period comets, as well as Centaurs and Jupiter family comets have their origin in the Oort cloud, despite the fact that the origin of the Oort cloud is not yet known and defined. Number 4. The Oort cloud is extraordinarily huge. Though the Oort cloud has not been directly observed, it is thought to have a resemblance of a basketball, with a thickness starting at about 2,000 to 5,000 AUs, or in simpler terms 2,000 to 5,000 times the distance between Earth and Sun, which might stretch till 100,000 to 200,000 AUs, which makes it 3.16 light years away. That is not even imaginable. Number 5. The Oort cloud is not as massive as expected. Yes, the Oort cloud is only about five times as massive as Earth. Although it contains a several trillion objects, it is still not as massive as expected according to its size. Calculations based on the mass of Halley's Comet, which is a suspected Oort cloud comet, yield a total mass of the objects in the Oort cloud of about 3 into 1,025 kilograms, which is roughly five times the mass of Earth. Number 6. The Oort cloud contains material from other stars. The Oort cloud represents the remains of the original protoplanetary disk out of which, the solar system had formed about 4.6 billion years ago, new research has shown that the proto-solar system once existed as part of a star cluster that consisted of between 200 to 400 stars. These findings suggest that the Oort cloud could not have formed close to the Sun as has been suggested, and could also therefore not have been puffed up to its present location and size by the action of the giant gas planets as they migrated away from the Sun. Number 7. Stars sometimes pass through the Oort cloud. The passing of nearby stars through the cloud perturbs the Oort cloud sufficiently to send comets into the inner solar system. For example, the DIN binary star Scholz's star passed through the outer reaches of the Oort cloud about 70,000 years ago, although its high speed and low mass limited the effects of its passing. Number 8. Oort cloud comets can disappear. Soon after it was discovered how many long-period comets from the Oort cloud will return to the solar system, Jan Oort noted that very few of these actually did so. Surprisingly, till date, no known purely dynamical process can account for this, and although the number of returning comets that return to the outer solar system far exceeds the number that return to the inner solar system, the issue remains unresolved. Number 9. The Oort cloud contains both comets and asteroids. If what is known about the composition of known comets is taken to be representative of all comets, most objects in the Oort cloud will consist of various ices such as frozen water, methane, ethane, carbon monoxide, 
and hydrogen cyanide. However, the discovery of an object dubbed 1996 PW, that has an orbit that is similar to long-period comets, and which has a composition and appearance similar to D-type asteroids, suggests that between 1% and 2% of the Oort cloud population consists of asteroids. Number 10. Nobody has seen the Oort cloud yet. Everything that is known about the Oort cloud, is based on inference, reasoning, theoretical computer models, and some intelligent guesses about the origin of long-period comets, since nobody has actually observed the cloud yet. That was all about Oort Cloud for you. Do like, share, comment and subscribe to our channel, Explified.